Hi, this is Fernando Mercedes from Trend Micro FTR team, and I'm here to show you how Delphash works. So let's say there is a source code that was compiled to multiple architectures using different linking techniques, and therefore they generated different binaries using the ELF file format. This is exactly what I have here. So in the example here, I have binaries compiled for ARM, x86, and x86-64 architectures. I will verify what I just said by using the file command. I use the set tool to cut off the information we don't need, but what I wanted to show you is that these files are totally different from a structural point of view because they were built using different instruction sets and also different linking techniques. We can also generate a cryptographic digest of them, let's say using SHA, then we can verify each file here is unique. However, from a functionality point of view, they are the same. So what if we had a hash of the functionality instead of the file content? This is basically what ELF hash is. It considers the function names used by the ELF files, not the instructions they use. It ignores architecture-specific functions also. And additionally, it uses our own similarity digest called TLSH to make the process of comparing files with similar functionality easier. So let's take a look at ELF hash program. It asks for the files that you want to compute the ELF hash digest. So let's say we, we want the ELF hash of this first file. Here is it. But the real power of TELF hash appears when you use it with multiple binaries. So let's put a star here. As you can see, different files produced the same TELF hash value. This is possible because we carefully select the symbols to feed our algorithm. So changes in the function list a program uses, we also change the TELF hash digest. But the good thing is that this change can be measured. In other words, the distance between two hashes can also be mathematically expressed and therefore calculated. We can also use the dash G, which is the grouping function of TELF hash. And then we can see what binaries match each other. In group 2, which is the biggest group in this output, we can verify that all the dynamically linked binaries were grouped in a single set. To sum up, TELF hash is a clustering algorithm that can be used to find the ELF files that share similar functionality. Our intention is to create a tool that could be of some help to model researchers when looking for similar files while working on investigations of IoT marketing. Thanks for watching and feel free to give us any feedback on my head.